During a recent conference held in the Bahamas, Christopher Waller, a member of the Federal Reserve, delivered noteworthy statements. Interestingly, in his prepared remarks, he refrained from commenting on the economy or monetary policy. What caught everyone off guard were his remarks regarding Bitcoin and its spot ETFs, and the revelations are generally surprising. Join us in this video as we unpack and discuss the unexpected insights shared by Waller. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share, and let's start. Robert Kennedy Jr. is promising no taxes on Bitcoin, backing the US dollar with Bitcoin. Next up, Justin, BlackRock now owns over 109,609 Bitcoin worth $5.7 billion for their spot Bitcoin ETF, which is massive. New spending Bitcoin in Kenya with uh, Machangura wallet, I don't know this one, but really congratulations to Kenya as they can actually use Bitcoin and buy stuff in their shops and that's really crazy that the most undeveloped most undeveloped countries actually using the most developed currency while the USA still does not you need to learn guys you need to learn breaking news US goes big on Bitcoin Elizabeth Warren signs a certificate to honor Bitcoin creator Satoshi Nakamura with a ceremonial flag flying Americans are forever grateful New MicroStrategy now holds $10 billion Bitcoin, he ain't stopping. And yeah, that's what we are saying, he's continuing on buying more and continuing on holding more and more. With his 190,000 Bitcoins uh, holding is around $10 billion, he's still going to go and buy more. Transferring gold versus transferring Bitcoin, this is the reality of it. For transferring gold, you need a bunch of cars and a bunch like police and other FBI maybe I don't know if they actually uh, do that stuff but what I'm saying is for just Bitcoin you need your phone and you can be your own bank that's it that's easy as that Bitcoin is over $81,000 of Australian slave tokens that's really I, I don't know upsetting I, I wouldn't say like if you saw uh, like uh, a lot of different currencies uh, falling uh, in uh, prices. Uh, I mean, uh, the uh, I mean, I mean, the Bitcoin is growing for the autumn high, but the currencies are falling. So uh, we already saw the uh, Japanese yen falling down. We already saw Argentinian peso and a lot of other currencies that are falling in value while the Bitcoin is growing on their side. But compared to Bitcoin only, uh, and compared to dollar as well. But honestly, I'm, I'm going to say that the dollar is falling down while the Bitcoin is growing all we need to know. Sailor found the infinite money glitch. Buy Bitcoin, MSTR goes up. Take out more debt, MSTR goes up. Sell personal holdings, MSTR go up. Issue more stock, MSTR goes up. Join the S&P 500, MSTR goes up. This is the playbook of the century and he continues on investing more and more. Breaking another 5.7 thousand Bitcoin, 300 million dollars has been sold by the Grayscale Bitcoin trade. Trust. And they bought, honestly continue on selling more and more while the BlackRock accumulating more and more. Bitcoin is up 80% since BlackRock CEO Larry Fink said that crypto is digital gold. BlackRock now holds $5.5 billion in their Bitcoin ETF as banks are scared of Bitcoin because Bitcoin makes most banks obsolete. Asset managers embrace Bitcoin because it is a new asset class that can generate new revenue. Understand the motive of why people say what they say will help you understand the market. Next up, what do we have here? In 2024, Bitcoin broke the 61.8% level for the first time without any major corrections. I last two cycles, the 61.8% level was breached around 6 months after a halving and about 2 months after halving in first cycle. However, this time in 2024, the market broke the 61.8% level 2 months prior to the halving, as this suggests a deviation from the typical 4-year cycle, indicating that the current cycle might be shorter and more rapid. 
Fed member Waller talked about Bitcoin spot ETFs. I don't want banks to hold high amounts. At a recent conference in the Bahamas, Fed member Christopher Waller made some notable statements. However, he declined to comment on the economy or monetary policy in prepared remarks. Waller suggested that the US dollar would retain its status as the world's reserve currency. Waller argued that recent events have only strengthened this situation. This comes amidst growing debate about the potential of other currencies such as Chinese Yuan to challenge the dominance of the US dollar. However, Waller pointed out some factors that work against the Yuan as an attractive asset. In the context of ongoing discussions about the need for a central bank digital currency in the US, Waller said he does not see such a need. Waller's comments come at the time when many countries are exploring or have already implemented their own CBDCs. Waller also touched on the issue of cryptocurrency ETF, saying he was uncomfortable with banks holding large amounts of these assets, as the SEC recently approved a total of 9 new Bitcoin spot ETFs allowing billions of dollars of assets to flow into these products. However, the SEC's approval took place when the US authorities were backed into a corner. Also, what do we have there as well? Coinbase shares climbed and as analysts adjust ratings and crypto tokens gain value. Coinbase's stock price experienced a 6% upsurge in the early trading hours of the February 15th, benefiting from both an endorsement by the GP Morgan analyst and a general increase in cryptocurrency token values. Analyst Kenneth Worthington, who previously downgraded his stock in January, has now shifted his assessment to a more favorable stance. This reconsideration is attributed to the successful performance of Bitcoin ETFs, which are believed to contribute positively to the cryptocurrency marketplace. And the least reassesses Coinbase market positions as well. Next up, Bitcoin soars to historical highs against the global currencies. So Bitcoin's ascent persists, showcasing an extraordinary performance against the major global currencies and foreshadowing a potential new peak versus the British pound. Trading view data hints at the Bitcoin's approach to a record-breaking level against the pound, surpassing a precedent last set in early November 2021. Although the US dollar has witnessed the Bitcoin's pinnacle over the previous two years, the cryptocurrency is on the verge of surpassing its past GBP record set just under $51,000. Bitcoin's rally against the British pound. Bitcoin is on the brink of entering a new era of price discovery against the GBP with a mega 21% uh, surge required from the $42,000 level it achieved on February 15th. This comes as the UK's currency faces a tumultuous year with inflation, a faltering stock market and real estate challenges which mirror the economic hardships experienced by many nations globally. The United Kingdom's economy has officially dipped into recession after enduring two successive quarters of contraction, as a recent data and mainstream media reports underscore. Crypto slate analyst James Wan Stratton commented on the dire state of the British economy, calling it a complete joke, while also observing the pound's descript description against the US dollar uh, with a GBP USD trading at a historical low of 125. And a UK stance on cryptocurrency regulations remains stringent with a focus on exchange oversight and eroding user anonymity. And the nation stands out in Europe with its 2021 prohibition of crypto derivatives trading. So that's kind of all the information we got in today's video. And if you are interested in more, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one, and peace.